Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. It's been a little while since I last put a video out, so I thought I'd start with something nice and simple and easy with this video to get me back into the swing of things. I recently found out through loads and loads of different Elgato updates to the Stream Deck that there is a random action button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a random action button, and I'm going to give you some examples of how it can work. This is dead easy, a really nice addition that you can add to your stream, and it sits within the family of multi-action buttons that Elgato have been now probably quite famous for through their Stream Deck. I've done a couple of videos about the multi-actions before. They're some of my best and most creative videos, so I will link them on the card above and also in the description below. I've also done something like 25 or 30 Stream Deck videos, so if you've got a Stream Deck, make sure you hit the like button. You'll definitely find my channel useful. Without further ado, let's get into the random action button for the Stream Deck. Okay, so we're just going to get straight into this. What I'm really aiming to do here is have a button on my Elgato Stream Deck that when I press the button, one of a number of different actions can happen. But I don't want to know precisely which action it is. So it is like a button randomizer of actions. And bear in mind, this can be virtually any button from your Stream Deck. So if you can integrate it into the Stream Deck, that can be one of the actions that can be randomized here. Now, one thing I've also found is that you can't chain multi-actions into random actions. Elgato, if you're listening to this, it'd be really good if you could have a random action select a list of multi-actions. So therefore you could chain into the random actions seven or eight or 10 or 20 things that can happen all at once based on that random action. So for instance, if I wanted a light to turn on and then them to turn green and then I don't know, to change a scene, that could be one set of actions. And then I might randomly want the same type of thing where it turns the lights on, turns them red and selects a different scene. Hopefully you're following where I'm coming from here, but Elgato, that's definitely a nice addition that would make this even better. Now, first things first, I don't know what version this came in on. So what you need to do is go on the cog button. You need to check for updates and make sure that you've got the latest version. To be honest, you probably would want to have the most latest version. If you can't see the random action button on your stream deck, there's a good chance you've either just not updated your stream deck. It can also be that maybe it's not visible. So you need to click on this button here and just make sure that your multi-action is visible on the menu. Another way, if you still can't find it, is to do a search for random action here, and you'll see random action here. And then from there, it's actually pretty simple. It works like most of the other multi-action switches. What we do here is we just drag the random action onto the stream deck. This menu will appear where we can add a bank of different random actions that we want the stream deck to select from randomly. And they don't all have to be the same thing. They can be, one could be a sound effect, it could be a lighting change, it could be a scene change, it could be something to do with Twitch. Anything pretty much that you can program into your stream deck, you can put into this random actions, which is why this makes it such a cool tool. Basically gives a massive amount of fun and flexibility. I think that the developers at Elgato were probably in a really funny, silly mood when they did this. Either that or the community have suggested it to Elgato and it's really good that they've developed this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define what those random actions are. Now a great use case that I found here, and this was actually the use case I discovered when I was looking for this. What we wanted to do on my podcast, which I will also link below. If you like stupid podcasts, you may find the Electric Honk podcast quite fun. But I do find myself thinking, because you talked about uh, technique that he used, <laughs> I start thinking about what, what technique is this? Like, this guy's <laughs> gone, do you know what? I need to make it my life's work to watch these geese fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's living my dream life. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking to play a different audio stinger for the same segment, if that makes sense. So essentially, we're trying to have like four or five different audio stingers to introduce one of the segments on our podcast. That just means that even though it's the same segment, every time we release an episode, it will be a slightly different introduction to that segment. When we press the random button, it will select from a bank of sounds, and then it will be basically just a random intro to that podcast segment. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag play audio, play audio, play audio. We got three different audios here. Now all I need to do is go into this first action, which is one of obviously three random actions. I need to find the file. For the purposes of demonstration, I've just got some fart nose noises here. So I'm going to go with fart number one. 
With this second action, I'm going to go with fart number two. So I'll just find the second fart. These are all slightly different fart noises, by the way, if you haven't guessed. And then we'll add the third fart noise here as well. Now, if you want, you can give these a title. It looks like Elgato will auto fill in a title and stuff for you as well. You can also add fades if you want to. Again, this is just audios, but this could be anything. It could be something to do with a random scene on OBS, maybe a different voice mod thing, a Twitch function. There's all sorts of things this could actually be. You could get really, really creative. Let me know in the comments how you're using this, because if there's a really fun way of using it, I'm definitely going to steal it. And that's it. That is literally the button set up now if you want you can click into this blank area on the side somewhere and it'll mean that you're then not selecting one of the random actions and then you can then as with every button with elgato if you want to set a new icon for it or give the button itself a title farts then you can do that now all that's left to do is to press the button and hopefully the random farts will appear I'm just going to go back. It's this button here I'm going to press. Now, you couldn't hear that because it came through my speaker. So let me just put it so that it's not coming through my Amazon Echo. <laughs> so I've pressed it in many different times and you can see that they're coming in a random order. Obviously, the more things you add into the random action list on the stream deck, the less frequently you're going to hear any one individual instance of whatever it is. But again, this is just sounds. You can do this with absolutely anything. Another great use case for this would be, for example, with the Philips Hue. So let me just do it one more time to illustrate a different random action that you can do here. I'm going to go into Philips Hue and I'm going to go to light colors. So I'm going to drag this on and I'll drag another one and another one. So let's go for the man cave lights and I'm going to select, I don't know, let's go with green for this one. It's already changed the color when I selected from a different one. Man cave, let's go with red and then, and then let's go with the man cave, the, I don't know, let's go with yeah, yellow, orange, yellow. Pink, pur purple, quickly name it, colors. So now when I press this button, it will randomly select any of those three colors. Red, pink, let's come back to red again. Red again, <laughs> pink, green. Right, so there you go, proves the point. We've done it with lights, we've done it with sounds. I'm sure there's a million other ways that you can do this. So that was the random action button on the stream deck within the multi-action family of buttons. I'm sure you'll agree, a really nice, easy, awesome function that Elgato have added to their stream deck. Again, if you found this useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.